So you want to start a little garden, but you don't really feel like you know what you're doing. You want to grow your own food, but you kind of feel like you have a brown thumb. Hi, I'm Savannah Taylor, the Gardenista, your kitchen garden coach, and I'm going to help you out. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just gonna jump right on into it because I'm going to show you how to get started. Even though it's springtime, we wanna get started for summer. And if you love melons the way we love melons, oh my gosh, you are in such for a treat. Okay, so today we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to start seeds. Now you can start any kind of seeds in this way. And the goal is to help you get started with uh, getting your seeds germinated, okay? Um, you know, a lot of times as a new gardener, you feel like, you know, you just plop the seed in the ground and you know, you should get something. Now that works sometimes, but if you have a little trouble, this way that I'm going to show you where you start your seeds in a bag is going to be really helpful for you. And I actually do this quite often. Um, as a matter of fact, I, in these bags here, and I'll show you how to do it. I've got cucumbers that I've already germinated. And I've got some honeydew melon and I'm going to show you how to start watermelon. So if you want some juicy, delicious watermelons this summer, now is the time to get them in the soil. OK, but I'm going to show you how I start my seeds indoors. All right. So uh, I'm going to come up close now. Let's start with the honeydew melon seeds. OK, so I have them in this Ziploc bag. And again, I'm going to show you guys how to do this, but I'm going to, I just took this down. I keep it over my stove, but I'm going to come up close and show you what I got. All right. So here I have in this paper towel, and I hope I'm getting it in the camera here, but I've started my seeds in this paper towel and you might even be able to see them, but look at that, how some of them have already started to sprout in this paper towel. It's a really great way to germinate seeds if you have a problem, if you really struggle with getting your seeds started or they don't germinate. OK. All right. So, like I said, these are cucumbers and I'm also going to show you how I take these little sprouts, these seeds that have germinated and I put them in these little nursery pots. Now, just FYI, if you're new to the channel, everything that I have here from um, the uh, little pots to um, the seeds and everything is available in my Amazon store. And I'll uh, go more into detail about that in just a second. But we're going to start off with, okay, you're going to need a paper towel, right? And let's start off, we're going to do some watermelon, red watermelon seeds. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Last summer, uh, I grew so many melons. We could not eat them all. And of course, as a gardener, one of the great things about being a gardener is that uh, you give a lot of stuff away, okay? And you share your bounty. So that's a big plus. So I've got here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I've got about five seeds. And I don't really want to do more than that uh, in this process because if you noticed in that uh paper towel that I just showed you with the honeydew melon, when these bad boys sprout, oh my gosh, they really go all over the place. And you don't want too many because you don't want to damage the roots when you transfer it to your pot. Okay. So like I said, I've got five seeds here, right? And I've got them all laid out on the paper towel here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over like so, and then take your handy dandy spray bottle. I have this, uh, I love this spray bottle. If you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome, but I love this spray bottle uh, because it, I, I know, I'm, I'm crazy y'all, <laughs> I just love that. But anyway, so you're gonna spray this really, really well, okay? You want to get it soaking. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why don't you just run it under the under the faucet? Well, you want it wet, but you don't want it sopping wet. OK, you, you just want it 
like I said, kind of wet, not sopping wet, right? And then you're just going to take, I recommend a gallon size baggie, like so, right? And before you put your seeds in here, I recommend labeling it because I'm telling y'all, this process can get really addicting <laughs> when you realize how great your seeds germinate and the germination uh, rate. I mean, I don't think I've ever failed at germinating my seeds this way. Everything germinates. So I'm going to label it so that I know what this is. This is my red melons. Okay. And, and like I said, you're going to have so many seeds and baggies. You're going to be like, wait, what was this? <laughs> That's when you know you're a true gardener, right? Uh, so I'm going to take my seeds and see they're all kind of, they're all lined up really nice. Okay. See that? Wet paper towel. And then I'm going to stick them in here. And you want to make sure that it's laid out nice and uh, flat as much as you can. Okay. It's the paper towel might be longer than the baggie. All right. And so you have it in your baggie here. Now, before I seal it up, I give it another good little spritz. Okay. Again, it's not making it sopping wet. It's just making it good and moist. Okay. And then I kick out any air, extra air, and then just zip it up and voila. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, so it's labeled. I'm good. And what I do is you want to store it. Uh, I store mine above my stove where it's nice and warm. Uh, if you have that, I highly recommend it. If you don't have anything like that, uh, just put it somewhere dark and as warm as possible um, or just not freezing cold. Okay, so uh, and then after about a week, you're going to see some action <laughs> and that's where I'm telling you it's, it's really exciting because this, these right here that I showed you, this is one week, you guys, one week. And I believe that's much faster than if uh, I had just put it right in soil. Okay. So now once you've done that and you have your sprouted seeds, what you're going to do is you're going to take, and I've already got some little nursery pots. These are also in my Amazon store. I've got some nursery pots here. I've already got soil in them, okay? And if you know you're going to be doing a lot, I recommend, okay, you can get a larger nursery tray with more little nursery pots, okay? Which I'm gonna definitely need because like I said, I've got both yellow meat, melon uh, sprouts and red uh, melon sprouts here. Okay. So, but what you're going to do is, and I will come up close and show you, but I'm going to carefully open my napkin because you don't want to damage the roots. Okay. And even if you take off, which is what I normally do, I actually tear off around the root. Let me come up close and show you guys. Okay. I actually tear off Hope I'm getting it in the camera. Okay. I actually tear off around the root so that you have, see that there? Okay. See how it's the root is all in the paper towel because when it sprouted, it grew all up in there. Okay. And you can actually, and I can actually tear off maybe a little bit more of the paper towel because you just don't want to damage the roots. I don't want to pull this out of the uh, paper towel and damage the roots. But this paper towel is going to decompose eventually. So you can actually put the whole thing in soil. Okay. So I'm just going to take my little sprout that's all tangled up in there and I'm going to make a little hole and I'm going to put it in there with the paper towel and everything. I'm going to come up close and show you again. Okay, so I've got it in my little nursery pot here, and I'm just sticking it down, and I'm going to take the soil and just cover it up like that, okay? You don't want to bury the whole root. You just want to do it like so, all right? You see that? Okay, and you've already got a head start. 
And then once you have it in here, okay, I've got my little spray bottle. I'm going to moisten this topsoil, okay? I don't want to run it under the faucet because I don't want to, um, you know, dishovel everything that I just did. You don't want the uh, soil going everywhere. Now, what I'm also going to do is um, these little trays are so, oh my gosh, so helpful to have, uh, especially if you want to start your little seedlings indoors. Maybe you are in a part of the country where the weather is still kind of harsh right now for little young plants. You can put them in these little plastic trays, which are wonderful, and uh, stick them in your window or any type of sunny spot. Okay, but I've moistened the topsoil. I'm also going to pour water in the tray because these little nursery pots have holes at the bottom and you always want to plant with something that has drainage holes at the bottom. You never, ever, ever want to plant anything in something that does not have drainage holes. You have to have drainage holes so that it doesn't turn uh, nasty. Okay. Nobody wants to sit in nasty waters, including your plants. Okay. But uh, I put a little water at the bottom so that over time, over the next few days, these plants, these little young seedlings are going to sop up this water like you wouldn't believe. In two days, I'm going to have to refill this tray, if not sooner. Because uh, remember, the soil that's in here is dry. It's, it's not wet. So it's going to absorb all that water. Right. And you just want to keep an eye on it. Now I am going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these outdoors once I'm done planting everything because uh, melons are you know we've we've got some nice weather coming. I'm in California, so uh, we get some pretty uh, good weather consistently. And I'm not really worried about these. But if you're worried about your young plants with wind and hurricane or whatever still, like I said, you can put it in the window. And even if you use a big tray like this, which I'm eventually going to fill all these up with, uh, you can also maybe keep this in a nice sunny space. And then when you feel safe enough to put them outside, you can put them outside. Okay. So, but guys, that's really it. That It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish uh, planting the rest of these and I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I've got my sprouted cucumbers all in their little nursery pots, as you can see. Okay. The first seeds that I did was a uh, honeydew. And these are the cucumbers that I sprouted the exact same way. Okay. So once they're all in their tray, and like I said, I'm going to do some more that are going to go inside of here. And then I also have uh, this little window tray just to show you guys uh, in case you don't want to do this big operation here. Because again, I do specialize with uh, smaller gardens. So if you don't have a lot of space, that's okay. You can still have a kitchen garden. But what I'm also going to do with this tray is just like with that one, I'm going to add water to the bottom because these little seedlings are thirsty little buggers and they are going to sop up this water, okay? But that's all there is to it, you guys. Uh, again, all of these supplies can be found in my Amazon store. If you have any questions, please don't uh, be a scared to ask. There are no dumb questions. I uh, love that you guys are so excited. I love the questions and I am looking forward to some nice, beautiful cucumbers and melons. You can also do this with, um, uh, with the cantaloupes, any type of melons. This sprouting method really works well with these types of seeds. Not so much with the tiny seeds like we, uh, like I've done in previous videos, like with tomato seeds or bell pepper seeds. It, I don't recommend it for that. Now, if there are people doing it that way, um, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it. But when you have big seeds like this, like the, the, the melon seeds, they work perfect. And uh, yeah, you guys can have a whole bunch of melons. Uh, I'll show you some of mine uh, melons that I've grown 
Uh, over the past summer, we had a, I mean, it was a bumper crop. It was beautiful. You can have that too. Okay. And again, you can do it with very little space. I'll talk about that later. Uh, but this is why kitchen gardens matter, you guys. So I will see you next time when we grow something else. All right. Take care.